So what I've come up with for today's video has been a small project that I've wanted to make for quite some time now. While what I've created for today will only work on Windows computers specifically, I made a small program or a script of sorts that will automatically fly an elytra and gain height while doing it. In a video I released a couple of months ago, I talked about a method of elytra flight wherein you pitch down 40 degrees for 60 to 80 blocks or so, then pitch up 40 degrees, rinse and repeat. The problem with this method of flying is that it's very attention intensive because you have to be looking at the screen at almost all times for it to work. So it became a goal of mine to automate this process without mods of any sort. And yes, I pulled it off. So let's go ahead and let's check it out. So how exactly does this infinite elytra trick work? Well, I won't go into extreme detail in this video, as I already have in the previous video I mentioned before. While flying with the elytra, if you follow the method that I'm showing on screen, you'll gain around 3-4 to four blocks of height with every cycle of flight. So how am I going to go about automating this process without mods? Well, I'm going to use a scripting program called Auto Hotkey. Now, don't worry, this video isn't going to be a code tutorial for how to make this work. I'll have the applicable links in the description down below for you to try it for yourself. However, I'm going to explain what's going on with this program so that you know how to operate it for yourself. So first things first, once you start this little program up, a small icon will appear on your taskbar that looks like this. If your mouse started flailing around like crazy immediately after opening the program, just tap your scroll lock key on the top right of your keyboard to stop it. From there, fire up Minecraft, grab your elytra wings, preferably with Unbreaking 3, build a tower to roughly the height limit, make sure your mouse sensitivity in game is at 100%, no more or less, then jump off and engage elytra flight. Then hit the scroll lock key on your keyboard to enable the script. From there, the entire process will begin. Starting off, you should automatically start flying straight down. Then, after a moment or two, if you open up your F3 menu, you'll observe that your flight angle changes from straight down to 40 degrees down. From there, the process of perfect automatic elytra flight will begin. Now if all you want to do is fly in a straight line until your elytra inevitably breaks, then you're already good to go. While it is possible to swap out a broken elytra with a fresh one within the time between diving down and gliding back up, another thing I programmed this macro to do is left and right adjustments as well. If you press either the left or the right arrow while the script is active, you'll make very subtle adjustments to the left or right. If you need to make faster adjustments, tap the up arrow for faster adjustments to the right and the down arrow for faster adjustments to the left. If things go really out of control and you need to restart the script all over again, just tap the scroll lock key, wait for the sound indicating that the script is done, and then tap the scroll lock key again and the whole process will start all over again. It's really that simple. So how far can you fly with this? Well, on a single unbreaking 3 elytra, you can fly for around 23 minutes before it'll break, meaning you can fly over 30,000 blocks away from your starting point and gain height at the same time without paying attention to Minecraft at all. Now, I know what a lot of you are probably thinking. What about just using fireworks and then gliding? And to that, I have to say, if your flights are dominantly pretty short, then go ahead and do that. But if you're looking to do some kind of long distance flight, say to the world border or something, I'd recommend this method to conserve some inventory space. Either way, I wanted to make this script so that the option was there if you decided you wanted to use it. So yeah, that just about does it for me for now. Hopefully the script winds up working out for you. I'm not really a good coder, but I did the best that I could to bodge together something neat. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.